as much as Sprock. And he finds himself not knocked down, but slipping down. At the start of this sixth round. No count from our referee there. But Brewster on the offensive once again. Combination to the body and then a good right hook just moves Michael Sprott around. This is when he needs a fast one-two combination yeah. or a double jab. Just right there after that, after taking those shots on the, on the ropes, as he turns back in, back in against him and competing. He's not competing at the moment. It's not for me taking this great opportunity that he claims this fight has given him. Which is no disgrace because I'm impressed with Brewster this evening. Well, you have to respect the man's yeah. power. He's a very powerful uh, boxer indeed. And I just, I understand the tactic from, from Sprock, you know, and he's, he's trainer Jim Evans is saying, don't do nothing silly, and I understand that. I just think he just needs to do just a little bit more. He's got to up the work rate a little bit. Gets through once again with a straight right, does Lamont Brewster. You can hear his corner there. Keep doing it, man, keep doing it. They're uh, shouting. See, that's better from uh, Sprott there, but it was one punch and nothing followed it. Lovely jab. Certainly more variety coming from Lamont Brewster, more aggression. Yeah, definitely some some good body shots there, but again to Spots credit, he took them well, but just didn't come back. He, at, at the moment, it just doesn't look like he's he, he's he's trying to win. He's just getting through the rounds, he's trying to survive. And any more right hands like that, he, he might not survive too long. Tight defence from Michael Sprott, serving him well on that occasion as we move into the last 10 seconds. And at the moment, eight rounds really suits Lamont Brewster. As we come out for round seven. Michael Sprott, who's lost two of his last three fights. And it might be three of his last four, unless he can produce a power punch from somewhere that we've seen from him in the past. We know he's got. He's just gone into hiding in the last six rounds. The main reason why we haven't seen any of those knockout shots from Sprott is he's not taking any real risks, you see. He's not moving into the position to, to land that big shot. He's content to stay on the outside and pick him, trying to pick his opponent off with the jab. And he has got through with some good stuff, but it's been a bit negative for me. And he needs a little bit more and more use of the right hand. That's better. That wasn't too far away. And Brewster, nonchalantly, really, just turning away from Michael Sprott. It, it was as casual as you like. And I would imagine that right only missed Brewster's bearded chin by a matter of centimetres. It's kind of cool, really. <laughs> Michael Sprott now tries a bit of skipping and dancing. To be fair to, to Brewster, he's controlled the centre of the ring. Has controlled it easily. As Michael Sprott, as you mentioned, Richard, just not coming forward. Hey, step back. Let go. 
Oh, once again, go. Sprott tries that over the top right. Brewster takes a big deep breath. Good jabbing once again from the American. You just feel now he's taking this to the seventh round, and Michael Sprott probably just he's warming to this contest now. That's when, he, as I said, he needed those ten rounds maybe, but uh, he's coming back into it more in this in this uh, seventh round. Ten seconds to go. And Sprott looks the the fitter and the fresher of these two men, but then takes a stiff, solid left jab. So will we get a big three minutes from Michael Sprott, who is waiting in the centre of the ring for Lamont Brewster to get going? Seven rounds where the American has been in control. And at the moment, on his way to a comfortable points win. Oh, and rocks Michael Sprott back. At the start of the eighth, the aggression coming from Lamont Brewster again, but Michael Sprott back with a straight left of his own. Yeah, good left hook there from Bruce at the start of the round, and Sprott was actually um, trying to land the right hand of his own, wasn't he? He was actually stepping in, taking that risk that we talked about, and uh, nearly paid the price, didn't he, with that left hook? Didn't he just? But then Sprott got through with a straight left. An explosive start to this final round. Brewster picking his moment to unleash some big punches here. Keeping Sprott back. And a wild right hand from Michael Sprott there that Brewster does well to get out of the way of again. There you go, and Dave, what we've been speaking about, about him doing a little bit more. And in this round, he is doing a little bit more, Michael Sprott, and he's getting through. Oh, and look at that once again. Left hand big over the top right from Michael Sprock. A much better round from the man from Reading. Yeah, and this is probably the, the only round where Sprott has actually put Brewster on the back foot. Brewster's actually, you know, he's having to work at bay now. Sprott's coming forward, keeping his man on the back foot. Much better round, much more positive work from Michael Sprott. And is he doing this because Brewster's tiring, or or has he just woken up, or, or, or what? Well, his corner says that we need a big last round, and that's why he's, he's certainly responding. And he kind of needed this in the second, third, and fourth rounds as well. But he's slugging it. He's going toe to toe with Lamont Brewster here. And if he is to lose Michael Sprott, he's going to give the fans and Brewster something to remember here. A lot of these punches that he's throwing, Brewster turning away from quite well. Ducking out of a couple there. I tell you what, oh Michael Sprott, he's a tough fella, you know, he took some good shots in this round. You can certainly see why Bruce has knocked 30 guys out out of 38 opponents. But Michael Sprott, he's just soaking it all up. Tough, tough man. That's a talking to from the referee. He's got 11 seconds to find a knockout punch. He's been down himself as Michael Sprott. And he's not been able to put Lamont Brewster down. Right at the end, the two fighters still slugging it out. 